Okay, in this lesson, I want to explain an interesting part of the camera that is depth of field. Look at these images. The depth of field is this. <clears throat> For example, you f your camera is focusing to one object and the uh, near object to camera and the far from that object are blurring that calls uh, Depths of field. For example, you focus the object near camera, the object far from your focus distance are blurring, and it's called it's called <clears throat> um, depths of field. Or look at this image. You focus on an object in the middle, and the near object and the far from that are blurring. That we want to simulating with this scene, simple scene that I want to show you. <clears throat> so so look at this I mean, we have object far from and near to camera so first we need a simple camera simple camera and this is our camera we are going inside that and first you have to set the focus distance it means you want to focus to which object you can select this by eyedropper and select your focus and look at this up number click and as you can see the focus distance will be set and if you uh, 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 roll back from your camera as you can see it's a camera here and this is your camera and then you can change it as you can see oh I'll forget that in a previous lesson if you change these handles you change the focal length in previous lesson you can I forget to forgot to tell you so as you can see this um, box is the face of this box is your focus distance and this handle is changing the focus distance that you can see or you can uh, drop the focus object that you for example this red object click and drag or with eyedropper here you can set the object exact object always set to that object and <clears throat> for example i click and drag this object on this and as you can see if you change the camera it's always focused on that object but if you clear it and focus in this distance if you change it it will be changed so if you want to focus in object always focus that object you can a bit eyedropper select an object but you can set the distance but i prefer to set the distance because i want to change it okay and we're going to that <clears throat> so we have two ways to um, activating the focus uh, depth of field first we need to go into the object mode and activate the focus distance set it focus distance first way and the uh, easiest way is going to the detail tab and here dof map for front blur means here the object from front here and the dof depth of field map blurring for the rear rear for the object far from your focus distance and i explain what is the start and the end for example i want to <clears throat> uh, both of them far and uh, near near i want to blur this near of uh, no front yeah front object these are front object and the rear is uh far object <clears throat> I activate it I explain them later and if you render you have nothing because you have to set your in your sitting you have to go to the effect if you are in a renderer because a redshift has its own depth of field a physical physical render that has its own standard at its own going to the effect and depth of field you have to activate it and here is a text of depth of field. you can blur you can change the blur strengths i will be explain them nice and everything is nice and then you can render nothing oh, as you can see we have blur in our uh, front if you want you can go to the blur to the far from your focus object first render and as you can see we have a render here 
Nice. Or you can set the both them. As you can see, this is a focus part and the near to the object to your focus and the from the focus to the far from your camera, it's blurring because of the front here, the rear, far from here. Okay, and then I talk about the start. Look at this. <clears throat> Uh, you better can understand better here. For example, uh, this is our camera and it's in our line of camera. Uh, DOF, this is our focus. This, this is our focus. I want to focus in this part. And I want to blurring uh, far from or the focus distance and near to the camera. When the start for uh, both of them are zero, it means you, the blur, we have no blur from here. And from here to this, going here, as you can see, for example, N, <clears throat> this distance is this. We have uh, blurring. Actually, from the start and end, the blurry, we have not blur or DOF here, with a small gradient and the fall of this gradient. If you go to the sitting, this gradient, okay? We have small fall off and from this distance to our camera, we have 100% blur. And from this focus distance to the, this end, this, we are with a gradient Small, small fall off. You are going from zero percent of blur to one hundred percent of blur, and from this distance to the far from, we have one hundred percent start and end. Actually, uh, changing the fall off distance. It's better to see to say it's fall off. <clears throat> or in this image, no. Or in this image, you can see it's better here. <clears throat> If you change the start and the end of zero, for example, this is an start and from here, from this distance to this distance, we have no blur effect, no DOF, because a starting blurring from near to camera is starting from here and starting DOF from far to camera, starting from here. It's going to the fall of its small fall off to the here and 100% to this distance and 0% of the fall off to 100%. We have a small fall off here and from that point, that is the end, to the camera, we have 100%. So uh, when you change the start in this gap, we have no blur. So be careful of the start and then. That's it. So in this way, we have a very <clears throat> simple way to our uh, DOF. But if you change your settings to physical, as you can see, we have no DOF here. Because, because, because in a physical setting, we have depth of field. So if you want, if the physical engine, it's a, like a breadsheaf, like a V-ray, it's a, I don't use it, but it's there. If you want, if you, if you don't want to use any plugin, you can use a physical. <clears throat> it's exactly physical uh, engine. So here you have to active the depth of field first and then focal, focal distance and let's render to see what happened. In this case, we cannot see any blur because it's actually see the physically dimension of the object. It's automatically create the depth of field for you in, in a real life. So you can, I think, yeah, you have to activate them. And in a physical sense, in the F stop, I will explain them more. A smaller number of the F stop, for example, you can choose a number of here. You have you can control the blurriness of them. Yeah, as you can see, we have a small blurriness of here. 
if you're going exactly to the this part <clears throat> and look at from here exactly this edge and let's test it as you can see we have more blurring here so it means it's it's actually physically uh, look at the dimension of the object and it's automatically create uh, depth of field for you i don't use it uh, most often but it's very hard to uh, control the physically physical depth of field because as you can see for example look at here we are approaching this object as you can see we have no uh, effects here but if you set to the this object look at this as you can see, we have some effects in here. But if you go uh, near that, as you can see, the, the, the dimension in physical is phys physics is very important. Or near to that. You can see in the small balloons to here and here. It's very hard. It depends on the dimension and uh, how to look your uh, camera. And I don't prefer to use it. But any any uh, of you have more s uh, example for using the depth of field in physical engine, please let me know. But I know this. I often use the standard render, or if you use Redshift, it has its own setting and done. It's very simple. So we use a standard and depth of field if you want, or you can select it and delete it from the effects. So you learn two ways to create depth of field. And as you can see, it's not physically, it's you can manually um, choose your depth of field. Because uh, the real physical depth of field in the real world is very different to the software depth of field you can test it in your uh, real world so this is depth of field in the camera hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release